Hello, everyone. This is Al Red Sox fan coming to you from Al Red Sox fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some Appa football card and dice makes everything nice. Bring Appa football back to the tabletop here on the channel as we adjust our chair not to hit the camera. Uh, we're going to do a four drive challenge between the all time Steelers and the all time Browns. Again, this all time set goes up to 1982. So without any further ado, let's get started. For the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers, your skill position players at quarterback, Terry Bradshaw, Franco Harris at one running back, Dick Hulk, the other running back, your wideouts are John Stallworth, Lynn Swan, the tight end, is Val Genesetti, or Genesette. He's old school, I guess. Your offensive line for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we're playing with no injuries. Um, and we will mix in some, some subs, I think. Your left tackle, John Kolb. Left guard, William Roy Jr. Redmore. Mike Webster is the center. Right guard, Jerry Moon Mullins. Left, uh, right tackle, John Brown. That's the Pittsburgh offense. Roy Jarrell is the kicker. Joe Jerry is the punter. He's also <laughs> the backup quarterback. And then uh, your returners are Matthews and Dudley. Defense. Both of these teams are well over 50 for defense. So both offenses will be B grade. I met, I fooled around with the defensive play calling chart, but everything's basically going to be the right defensive call. That's not going to be any fun in a four drive challenge. We're going to go back to the, uh, the blue die we're using. One, two, three is standard defense. A four is G for the ground. You know, you're playing the run. Five and six, you're playing the pass because you just couldn't move the ball at all. B both these teams are well over 50. The most you can be is 55, and both teams are over 52. Both offenses are Bs, so obviously the A passing will bump it up to an A. On defense... Your left end, L.C. Greenwood. Your left tackle, defensive tackle, Mean Joe Green. Middle linebacker, Jack Lambert. Right defensive tackle, Ernie Stauckner. Right end, Dwight White. Your outside linebackers. Uh, this would be the left, I think. Uh, Andy Russell. Or the right. It would be the right outside linebacker, I think. Either way, your two outside linebackers and Jack Ham. Your cornerbacks. Jerry Shipke. They're all fives, except for Dwight White. Mel Blount. Donnie Shell is the strong safety. Jack Butler, the free safety. So that's why we're not using this chart. The chart is good. It's just the defense is too good. Even with the great players on offense, you're not going to move the ball. You got to get the miracle rolls. For the Cleveland Browns, your skill position players to start off the game. Otto Graham's a quarterback. Jim Brown, fullback. Uh... Leroy Kelly is also the second kick returner. He's the halfback. Warfield, Lavalley are your wideouts. Ozzie Newsom's the tight end. Offensive line for the Browns. We're not going to be keeping stats. <clears throat> Left tackle, Lou Groza. He's also the kicker. Left guard, Jim Ray Smith. The center, Frank Gatsky. Right guard, Abe Gibron. 
right tackle Dick Scaffrith. Defensively for the Cleveland Browns. Left end, Bill Glass. Left tackle, defensive tackle. Jerry Shirk. Middle linebacker, Bill Willis. Right defensive tackle, Don Colo. Right defensive end, Len Ford. Your outside linebackers, Jim Houston, Tony Adamley. Your defensive backfield at one corner, Don Paul. At the other corner, Clarence Scott. Strong safety, Warren Lahr. Free safety, Tom Darden. I do want to get one thing before we start. Is, let me just grab this right here. Uh, the first linebacker is the left linebacker. Okay, I'm just going to get this chart down here. I didn't write anything down. It was pretty easy to set up. The players are where you're supposed to. Mark Jones has joined us. He says, let's go Brownies. Darden was an excellent safety. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. All right. Cleveland's the home team. They get the ball first. In a four-drive challenge, you get four drives. And at the end of the four drives, who's ever ahead wins. If it's tied, each team gets one more drive. And if it's tied after that, you go sudden death. One sudden death drive. And if it's tied after that, it's a tie. <laughs> you can play with a tie. It's fun. All right, so it's going to be Roy Jarella to kick off. And we won't need the blue die on this one. The blue die is a defensive die. Here's a kickoff by Roy Jarella from the 30. That's a 43 for Jarella. So a 43 for Roy Jarella on the kick is a 34. A 34 is a 62-yard kick. So that's going to take it to the 8. Fielding it at the 8 for the Browns is the 09. And the 09, I do believe... is the first so it's going to be greg pruitt now so pruitt on his kick returns we go off the k column from the eight greg pruitt gets a 44 so greg pruitt off the k column 44 for greg pruitt is going to be a nine a nine on the return 30 yards so Greg Pruitt takes it out to the 38-yard line. An excellent return by Pruitt. First and 10. Good start for the Cleveland Browns at their 38. I will keep a little mark here. So they're at their 38. First and 10. All right, so first and 10 for Cleveland. Now the blue die will come into play. Black, yellow, white is joined. He says, hi, Al. I'm a lifelong Bengals fan, so I'm hoping for both to lose. That they, I understand that. I understand that. So first and 10. Well, you got Jim Brown in the backfield, right? So first and 10, you know you're going to give it to Jimmy Brown. Let's give it to Jim Brown here on first and 10. It's going to be an inside run to Brown. So that's a standard defense and a 44 for Jimmy Brown against the standard on an inside run. We're between the 15, R15, 
and they're 31. It's a standard of 44 on the Jim Brown card as he rolls doubles. Is a 44 is a 15. That's going to be a good pop. 15, 16s, and 17s are usually good. It's going to be 16 yards for Jimmy Brown. He pounds right up the middle, bulldozing every stealer in his way before he is tripped up by the free safety of the Steelers, and that is Jack Butler. So Butler saves the touchdown, but Jim Brown picks up 16. So that takes you out to the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They cross into Pittsburgh territory. They're at the Pittsburgh 46, first and 10. This yard marker is actually a little short. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new game. The yard marker is slightly short. So they're at the Pittsburgh 46 now. So they're at the 46, first and 10. A huge run for Jim Brown. We're going to give the ball to Jim Brown once again. And after that, you got to go to somebody else. So Jim Brown inside run again. They're playing standard, and this time for Jim Brown, uh, they're playing standard once again. Jim Brown rolls a 31, a 31 on the Jim Brown cards, a 16. Oh, my Lord, another good roll for Jim Brown. He is beast mode, 16, and this time they'll rip off eight yards. So it's going to be second and two. So if this is the first down here. We back it up to ball at the Pittsburgh 39, and it's second and two. So Jim Brown rips off a couple of big runs. Cleveland keeping it on the ground. Otto Graham, let's see what Otto's going to do here on second and two. On uh, second and two, you know what? We're going to keep it on the ground. Inside run to halfback Leroy Kelly. Can Jim Brown lead the way for Leroy Kelly? Fifty-five. Pittsburgh's going to get hammered on that. They thought they're looking play-action pass. So Leroy Kelly with the fifty-five on an inside run. Cleveland keeps it on the ground. That is a sixteen, and that's a hell of a roll. And this is again still between the fifteen and the thirty, and they're playing pass on a sixteen. 10 yards, first down, so Leroy Kelly goes for 10. Let's back that up, one. And it's going to be to the 30, and then add one. So they're at the 29 of Pittsburgh. Three runs, 16, 8, and now 10 for Leroy Kelly. Cleveland's at the Pittsburgh 29. First and 10. Have to get to the 19 for a first down. You see how it's slightly short there? You got it. See? It's a little off. It's a yard short. <laughs> but they got to get to the 19. All right. Let's get Pruitt. He's a return guy. First and 10. Do we dare chance throw the ball in the air? I think you got to give it to Jimmy Brown again. You're, you're, the Browns are just ripping off yards on the ground. They're going to go back to Jim Brown. He gets his third carry. Pittsburgh again, not in a good defense there. That's a five, and that is a 12 for Jim Brown. A 12 for Jim Brown is a 17. That's going to be a good roll for Jimmy. Even And, and plus they're playing... They are playing 
the pass. So a 17, Jim Brown picks up seven yards. It's going to be second and three. Four, five, six, seven. And that's going to make it second and three. From the Pittsburgh 22. All right, so second and three, Jim Brown is beast mode. The Steelers have not been able to stop him. And again, had we, if you use this chart, which is really good, you, I mean, even those rolls, I mean, they would have picked up yards with those rolls, but. These defenses are both 52 or better. So I decided to go back. I want some offense here. So we're going to do the blue die. Like I said, one, two, three, standard, four, run, five, six, pass. Now we probably should have switched it up to make it four, five, run, but that's okay. Both teams have the same way. So we have a second and three here for the Browns on their first drive. Second and three. We're going to throw the ball on second and three. This will bump to an A. And we're going to play action fake. Ozzie Newsom is an A receiver, as you can see. So we're going to go to Ozzie Newsom. On second and three, Otto Graham to throw the ball the first time. Pittsburgh playing the standard. And that's a 65 off the auto Graham card. And that is an eight. And we went short pass, mind you, short pass. So a short pass on the standard. We're still between the... Uh, actually, we're not. Now we're between the defensive 30 and the 10. So it's a short pass. It bumps it to an A. Otto Graham with a 65 on the P column is an 8. And they're playing standard. Ten yards and knocked out of bounds. So a first down. Otto Graham hits Ozzie Newsom on an out pattern. They pick up ten yards. Nine and ten. To the 14. Hopefully I did my math correctly. I like the old board better, but this one is smaller and it's not warped. The other one's a little warped. So they're at the 14. Well, if we're at the 22 and we picked up 10 yards... We should be at the 12. There we go. 11, 12. We're at the 12, excuse me. It's tough to see these little black lines. So Otto Graham completes his pass to Ozzie Newsom. Pittsburgh unable to stop the Cleveland Browns to the joy of Mark Jones. And now on first and 10 from the 12... They're going to go back to Jimmy Brown. Pittsburgh has to stiffen up here. Again, the blue die is the defensive coordinator. It works the same way for both teams. The give, we're going to go inside to Jim Brown. Standard defense by Pittsburgh. It's a 24 off the Jimmy Brown card. 24 is a 28. That's not going to be bueno. It's an inside run. Pittsburgh's going to stiffen up here. And so they're at the 12. All right, standard defense, and that was a 28 inside run. Jim Brown has brought down two yards in the backfield. They'll go back to the 14. That's going to make it second 
and 12 from the 14. So an angry Jack Lambert comes flying through the line, bringing down Jim Brown. He did have some help from mean Joe Green and Ernie Stotner. Second and 12 now. Remember, Lou Groza is the kicker. It is important to score points in a four-drive challenge. So second and 12. And on second and 12... Otto Graham is going to pitch to Leroy Kelly. It's going to be an outside run to Leroy Kelly. Outside run, Leroy Kelly on second and 12 from the 14. Let's flip this chart here. Sixty-one off the Kelly card, Pittsburgh playing standard. So a 61 for Leroy Kelly is a 25, and it's an outside run against the standard B uh, index. So a 25, and that's not going to – no yards. They string it out and bring down Leroy Kelly near the sidelines. Pittsburgh stiffening up now after – Cleveland just ran the ball, four bang-bang plays, three big runs, two by Brown and one by Kelly. Then the big pass, Otto Graham to Ozzie Newsom. Now it's third and 12 from the Pittsburgh 14. And Graham's going to put the ball up here. Graham's going to look for Paul Warfield. Warfield is an A, so that's going to bump it to an A. Third and 12, and you can only go a short pass here. So the one roll that Pittsburgh definitely doesn't want that four. A blue four could spell disaster for the Steelers. Let's move this over here. Short pass to Paul Warfield. It's a blue four. Unbelievable. And it's a 33 so a 33 off the auto Graham card is a five against the run. Ouch. And it's an A five. Touchdown corner of the end zone. Otto Graham hits Paul Warfield for the score. So Otto Graham lobs it to the corner, the right corner of the end zone. Warfield makes a wonderful acrobatic catch as he goes up in the air. Coming down two feet inbounds. Touchdown. 6 nothing Pittsburgh. And we will record a little thing here for the touchdown. Otto Graham. Fourteen. Yard, touchdown. Actually, let's bring that back here a bit. 14-yard touchdown pass to Warfield. 6 nothing Cleveland. Lou Groza for the kick. And again, I fooled around with this chart, and this is a good chart. This is the solo defensive play call chart. And we probably still would have moved the ball because of the rolls I had. But both teams are going to be 52s. So they're going to have the right play call almost constantly. Um, so I just went back to the blue die. I want a little offense here in our four-drive challenge. And boy, did we get some offense there. Otto Graham to Paul Warfield right down the field. The Browns drive against Pittsburgh. Six nothing. Lou Groza for the extra point. The toe. Also the starting offensive left tackle, I do believe. We don't need the blue die here. Groza for the kick. It's a 32. A 32 for Groza is a 19. I do believe the extra point will be good on a 19. A 19 extra point. Where is the extra point? 
19 is good. So it's 7 nothing, as you can see. 19 is good. I also tried to fool around with the book last night. Don't like it. <laughs> I'm used to the boards. It's easier for me to find things. So I'm going to stick with the board. So 7 nothing Cleveland. They score on their first drive. Now can Pittsburgh answer it? Cleveland will kick from their 30, and it's going to be Groza kicking off. Dave Gardner has joined us. Hope all is well. We have Mark Jones, black, yellow, white. All right, so Groz is going to kick off. Roy Jarella gets off the field. He doesn't belong there. We have... Matthews and Dudley. Matthews being the lead returner. Dudley being the second returner. Okay. And this is the first drive for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're kicking off from the 30. It is a 23 off the Groza card. So a 23 on the kick is a 5. And a 5 is a 67-yard kick fielded by Matthews. So that's going to take it to the three, I do believe, right? Because 60 yards takes it to the 10. Another seven, yep, to the three. So from the three, and again, the yard marker is a little short here. Good going, Appa. You got to nudge it just a little. And again, from the three, it will be... Ray Matthews on the return. He gets a 52 on the return. So a Ma Ray Matthews return on a 52. How do you do? And on the return, it's going to go off the K card, I would assume, because there's no special little marking there. So a 52 is a 26 on the return. A 26 is 12 yards. He takes it out to the 15. Excellent kick coverage by the Browns swarming over Raymond Durrell, Ray Matthews at the 15-yard line. And let me again double-check my numbers. 52. Is a 26. And a 26 is 12 yards. I like these charts a lot. I don't like the book. Maybe because I learned how to play the game on the charts. The book is aggravating to me. And I'll try to use the book, but I'm used to the charts and I like the charts. Okay, so from the 15, Pittsburgh, and this is what I mean. So I put this right on the 15. You can see it's short, right? It's, pretty, it's right on the 15. It should go to the 25. It doesn't. This is the new game. <laughs> so we got to hedge it a bit. Okay. It's a little short. <laughs> it's a yard short. So Pittsburgh has it now. Let's just circle that. So Cleveland. Okay. And now Pittsburgh has it. First and 10 from their 15. All righty. Really, this game is not that hard to set up once you get the hang of it. I didn't write anything down, and I'm sure I'll mess up, but that's why I have this little cheat sheet, just so I have them in order, just for the defense, and I know the, you know, so I can look quickly to see if I want. You really don't have to. You can make it up as you go, as long as you got a linebacker. You do it for both teams. Who cares? <laughs> I will be using this defense with the AFL teams, I think, because they're not as strong. These teams are all in the, the – first of all, this is the easiest to set up, these, this all-star team. Both offensive indexes are always B. Both defenses are always going to be it, – it, I mean, it, this was such a quick setup. And I fooled around before I did the boxing last night on how I wanted to do it. Um, and I, I decided to go with the blue die calling the defense. But this works. It does work. I do like this chart. It's just I didn't think we'd have any offense, and I want offense. 
All right, first drive for the Steelers in our four-drive challenge. Pitts, uh, Cleveland's already scored, marched right down, uh, culminating on a uh, – it was actually third and 14. Third and uh, – I'm sorry, third – and 12 from the Pittsburgh 14. And Otto Graham hooked up with Paul Warfield in the right corner of the end zone. Kick was good by Groza. 7-0 Cleveland. So let's get these fine gents off the field. And let's see if Pittsburgh can answer the Cleveland Browns. Robert Bryant, how you doing? As uh, he's just joined us. He just finished watching Robert RJL's selection show. Who? What season did they pick Robert? Make sure to go check that out, our good friend Robert, uh, RJL. And again, well wishes and prayers to our good friend Robert Bryant. As I just take a sip of coffee. Doug Hunt, how you doing? Steeler fan, 1933. Dave Gardner's here. Of course, check out that wonderful channel and subscribe. Mark Jones, black, yellow, white is also with us. Um Uncle Dave Gardner says, I tried the charts offline. You might like them real fast with them. Oh, you mean the book? I just don't like the book. I have to get used to it. I'm used, I'm used to this. It's easy to flip and find. You flip a few things and you're looking at it. Again, that's just me. Okay, so here we go. Terry Bradshaw, and again, they have Franco Harris, so they're going to give the ball. We're going to go pretty much the same way we went with the Browns. You're going to give it to Franco. So let's give it to Franco Harris right up the gut on first and 10. Let's see if Cleveland gets the lucky blue die roll here. We don't need that in our hands. All right, so Franco Harris inside run. 55 for Franco Harris against the six. Oh, my God. Franco could go coast to coast like Space Ghost. Inside run for Franco Harris on the trap play. Holy cow, he rolls a 55, and that is going to be a 16, and that's a hell of a roll. I know 16s, it's going to be against the B index, and we're between our 15 and their 31 against a pass. Holy cow, against the D, and that's a 16. Is that what I said? 55 is a... I just had it. Is a 16. Ten yards for Franco. First down and ten for Pittsburgh. So they take it out to the 25 on one mighty run by Franco Harris as he matches what Jim Brown did. So first and ten for the Steelers. From their 25. Do we give it to Franco again? You bet your buttocks we give it to Franco again. This time, Franco's going to try to go power sweep. Franco on the outside run, and the dice are stuck. That we re rolled. <laughs> Cleveland, again, going to get blown away. They got that six defensive roll. Franco Harris with a 12, and that is a 20, 26 on an outside run. The bad roll will save Cleveland. They had a bad defensive call there. Uh, B is a D. It's a 26. No yards. They stretch him out. No gain for Franco. Second and 10 for Pittsburgh from their 25 on second and 10. What will the Steelers do here? Will the blonde bomber throw it up? I think he will on second and 10. So we're going to go Bradshaw. Bradshaw to Swan. Second and 10. We're going to go Bradshaw to Swan. And Swan's in A, so again, that's going to bump it up. Cleveland in a standard, and that's going to be a 35 off the Bradshaw 
Bradshaw card, 35, is a 10. It's a short pass, mind you. I, I, I keep forgetting to say that, but it's a short pass. It's a 10 against the standard, and it's an A. And I think that's going to be complete against the standard. Between the 15, our 15, or Pittsburgh's 15, the defensive 31, it bumps it to an A, a 10. 10 yards on the uh, sideline pattern. Knocked out of bounds is Lynn Swan. So that's a gain of 10. They take it to the 35. Pittsburgh, again, you can see what I'm saying. This is a yard short <laughs> and a bridge too far. Pittsburgh now first and 10 from their 35. Big conversion on second and 10. Bradshaw hit Swan. Had good protection. What are we going to do here? Going to go back to an inside run, but this time it's going to be a counter to Richard John Dick Hulk. I want to say he played for them in the 50s or 60s. Inside run to Hulk. They're playing pass. Holy cow. He gets a 65. 65 is a 20. So a 20 for a Hulk on the B index. I don't think he's going to get much on that. It's an inside run. The trap, the counter. I'm sorry. It was a counter. I think Cleveland reacted well. So the 65, 20 against the pass. B index picks up one yard. It's going to be second nine from the 36 for Pittsburgh. So on second and nine, Cleveland really reacted well. Second and nine. Bradshaw is going to give it on a trap play to Franco Harris. So trap play to Franco on second and nine. Ball at the Pittsburgh 36. And good push by the Steelers. And again, a bad defensive die roll by the blue defensive die coordinator. That's a 26 for Franco Harris on an inside run. 26. Uh, a 30. I'm sorry, no, a 24. 24. A 24. He's only going to get minimal gain here. B index, 24. Well, he picks up three yards. He picks up three yards. That's going to make it third and six, a much more manageable third down. So Franco picks up three. It's going to be third and six from the 39. Third and six. Pittsburgh really needs to get something here. Bradshaw is going to throw the pigskin. On third and six. Though you could run it, and then if you got enough, you could try to go for it. But that's risky. That's risky. Third and six. Bradshaw is going to go to John Stallworth this time. He's an A receiver. And it's going to be a short pass. I remember to say it this time. Short pass. Oops. Bradshaw looking for Stallworth. Short pass. Cleveland in a standard, it is a 46 pass, and that's a 36. That's going to be a penalty. I already know that. 
Might be complete, though. So a short pass on third and six. There most likely is a flag on the field. We're not playing injuries. Uh, short pass, and that's a 46, which goes to a 36. Between the 15 and the 31, so a 36. And it goes to an A. That's 12 yards. It's complete, possibly. There's a flag on the field. The T means there's a flag, okay? And the H tells you the, the column we're going to use. So now we roll these two dice over. So it might be plus 12. Let's just write that down. It might be. It all depends on the... It might be a delay of game and the play doesn't really happen. And it's an H. It is a nine. You add them together. You go to the medium chart. A nine on the H is a seven. Holding on the offense, it will be accepted. So the first down is nullified by the hold. And that's going to make it third and 16. So it's going to be third and 16. The reception by Stallworth nullified by the holding call on the Pittsburgh offensive line. So it's going to be third and 16 from the 29. Cleveland looks like they're going to stop Pittsburgh on their first drive attempt. And again, the game, if, if Cleveland, whoever, if a team is up, you know, and there's no way to come back, the game's over. You get four drives. That's it. You get four freaking drives. And that's the way we're playing. Trying to get the whole, uh, a, a shorter version of a game, but a whole game in one setting. <laughs> Young James, the professor says, Kenny Steelers O-line never held L-O-L. -L. Hope all is well. Well, you got to chuck up the pigskin here on third and 16. Third and 16, Bradshaw is going to go to... I don't know much about... V uh, Valerio Richard Val Gisanti with a name like Valerio, I'm assuming he's a Paisan. I could be wrong, but he's an A, so they need 16 yards. It's going to be a crossing play over the middle to J to Gisanti. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a medium pass, Bradshaw to Gisanti. And he's old school. So this will bump it to an A index. Medium pass. Oh, Bratch almost rolls. Doubles. It is a 65. And that's going to be a 20 against a 3, which is a standard. I think he's sacked here. Medium pass. A, 20. No, incomplete. Incomplete. Fourth down. So that is incomplete. Fourth and 16 for Pittsburgh from their 29. That holding call just killed that drive to the shock and chagrin of young James, the Professor Kenny. So with that, Pittsburgh will punt. Cleveland could really put the Steelers behind the eight ball, putting up points on their second drive. Again, you get four drives. It's a four-drive challenge. The punter for Pittsburgh is their backup quarterback. 
He's also a halfback. This is, again, an old-school player here. Joe Jerry, and he's the PA. He's the punter. So Jerry's going to punt from the 29. Greg Pruitt is the lead punt returner. The TA, and he goes off the K column. And I want to say Leroy Kelly. Yep. Uh, well, he's the TC, but you know what? He's going to be the second guy. We're not looking for the second guy. So Leroy Kelly will be the second guy. Jerry to punt. It's a 22. A 22 off the Jerry card. Boy, the Steelers needed that on the pass. A 22 on the Jerry card is an 18. So on the punt... And Jerry, let's get to the kick chart. Jerry is punting defense 25 to the 50-yard line. Yes, so it's going to be the first column. And again, it's a 22 on the punt. It's an 18. 18 on the punt. Out of bounds at the three-yard line. What a punt by Jerry. What a bounce. It goes out of bounds. Defense 25. No, I'm. that's my faux pas. It's going to be the offense. We're not on the 14. It's the middle one. It's the second column, my faux pas. And again, it was an 18, so it's a 53-yard punt. 53-yard punt to D10. D10 is the lead punt returner, so it's going to be Greg Pruitt. If there's a fumble and it says D whatever recovers it, that's the punting team recovers it. And because Dave Gardner asked, asked on that wonderful chat, it is the punt team that recovers it. If it's a penalty... And it says D, it's on the, the kicking team, which is a little confusing, but that's the way it works. Okay, so now we know Pruitt's going to get it. 53 yards. We're going to make it 52. So as we moved it up one, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. From the 18, Greg Pruitt. Out of Oklahoma. Let's see what Greg Pruitt gets here. From the 18, he gets a 52. Greg Pruitt, 52 is a 17 on the punt return. And 17. Holy cow. Hell of a punt return. 26 yards by Greg Pruitt. And again, we will make it 24 as we'll go 2 to the 20. 10, 20, 3, 4, um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So he takes it to the 44. Is that the 44? I can't see. Takes it to the 44. There we go. Of Cleveland, a huge punt return by Greg Pruitt. Cleveland really putting the pressure on Pittsburgh. With that, Leroy Kelly goes in the backfield. Now, my original thought process was to bring in backups on the second drive. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Though you do have to... Uh, no, you, we might just play it out with these guys for now. I'm having too much fun with these guys. All right, so they're at the 44 of Cleveland. Okay, so they have to get to the... Again, that's not lined up. It's slightly short. It should be here. There we go. 
If we get to the 44 of Pittsburgh. So first and 10, after a good punt return by Greg Pruitt of 26 yards. First and 10 from the Cleveland 44. Otto Graham back under center. You know you're giving it to Jimmy Brown. You're already up 7 nothing. Here comes Jimmy Brown. Power of football with Jimmy. Right up the gut. It's an inside run to Jim Brown. Pittsburgh in a standard. It's a 34 for Jim Brown. 34 is a 22. I think Pittsburgh's going to do a fairly good job on this. Again, that's a B index between the 15 and the 31, so that's a 22. Yep, 22. I keep doubting myself that I'm not looking at the right column. Nope, 22. On the B, inside run. Jim Brown picks up two yards. Pittsburgh swarms him. So two yards. They take it to the 46. It'll be second and eight. Second and eight for Cleveland from the 46. All right, second and eight. Going to give it to Jimmy Brown again. Then we have to go to someone else. Inside run again on second and eight. Jim Brown, 36. Pittsburgh in the standard. So a 36 for Jim Brown is a 25. 25. No yards. Jim Brown stood up and brought down. Third and eight. So Cleveland in danger of being stopped. Pittsburgh knows they need to stop here in our four-drive challenge. Third and eight. Otto Graham is going to look for Dante Lavalle on a short pass. If they get enough of it, they might go for it on fourth down. So the Valley on a short pass from Otto Graham on third and eight, trying to keep their second drive alive. Pittsburgh in a standard short pass to the Valley. Otto Graham rolls a 56. A 56 is a 15 on a short pass. A 15. It gets bumped to an A. It's going to be caught for three yards, but that's going to bring up fourth and five. So it is caught by Lavalley for three yards. Fourth and five. As they take it to the... Fourth and five. We messed up there. Make it no yards. It takes it to the where are they at? Forty eight. Should be the forty nine actually. To the forty nine. As they picked up three yards. They're going to punt. They're going to punt. They're up 7 nothing, So they're going to be stopped on their first drive most likely. But it's fourth and five. You never know. Possible penalty. They could get the ball back. The punter for Cleveland. And also a receiver. We're going to put him in the next drive. Gary Collins. He's the punter. Hello, Brian Hoxie. Hope all is well. 
Hopefully the chat's working again. I seem to have lost connection. I don't know 